Okay, so I want you to hear me out. Berg dogs. Uh-huh. Burger hot dogs. Something stupid. I don't know if it's ever been existed. I don't want to look it up on the internet. I, as soon as I look it up on the internet and it exists, then it's no longer my creation, okay? So I'm pretending it doesn't exist and it's my own creation because, well, I'm on keto and it's only week two, but I'm already experimenting with food. So what I've done is I bought some raw hamburger, okay? And what I did with the raw hamburgers, I was making patties, making regular old hamburgers, woo, typical hamburger. But I decided to get creative with a little bit of the extra meat that was left over. I tried making a hot dog out of it. And typically you would think, well, okay, so you're making an all-beef hot dog. Ah, ah, ah. Hot dogs have casings. This did not have a casing, so it is just all beef in a cylindrical form. And they will tell you what, in an air fryer where it holds together, you don't really have to flip it and turn it, absolutely delicious. What does it taste like? It tastes like a hamburger rolled up. It's delicious. There's nothing wrong with it, only everything right with it. Love it, will make it 10 out of 10 again. And guess what? I'm going to go to barbecues all over Indiana, and I'm gonna, and everyone's going to be like, Oh my god, Kyle's here, he's going to make his famous bird dogs. I'm going to become famous for this stuff. You think this show's going to make me famous? Hell no. It's going to be Kyle's Berg Dogs. But anyway, this is the Fat and Happy Show, everybody. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome back, everybody, to the Fat and Happy Show. Come on in, take off your pants, and let's have yourself a bowl of cereal. Well, you have a bowl of cereal. He's going to have a bowl of milk. I'm going to have a bottle of water because guess what? That's all you can have on keto. But welcome back to a terrific Tuesday episode, everybody. Hopefully you guys had some good days. Actually, not good days. i got to remember, I'm posting in the mornings now, so good morning, everybody. Hopefully you guys will have terrific Tuesdays. And if not, it's not my fault, I promise. I, I'm just here. I just try and entertain you. Hopefully this will be a good episode. I feel pretty good about it. Let's go and get into it. I'll tell you what, the holidays for today are lit, okay? Like, just saying, for holidays, it's pretty lit. To start it off, it is invite an alien to live with you day. So if you, if you know an alien, not illegal aliens, but we're talking like outer space aliens, okay? We're talking those guys. There's a holiday for this, everybody. So if you know an alien, just go and invite them home. It's also take a monkey to lunch day. Why not? Why not? Why not take a monkey to lunch day? Everyone has a monkey. It's also legal drinking age day. Of course it is, because let's go ahead and get drunk while we live with our alien and take our monkey to lunch. And what's better, it's his national junk food day. Let's have some beer. Let's have some chips. Let's enjoy the day with the alien and invite the monkey over. Come on. This is a lit holiday day. Come on. <laughs> this is awesome. Like that is the beginning of a sitcom. You have an alien, a monkey, you're eating lunch with chips and beer. Family guy, get on it. <laughs> oh, God. Let's get into that bad news of the day. We gotta calm down. No more lit. But the son of a judge that was about ready to cover an Epstein case died. Guy walks up onto the doorstep acting like he's a UPS guy. He's like, ding dong, guess what? Two day delivery, you're dead. One hour shipping to heaven. Like, I don't get it. There's, what is up with Epstein? What did Epstein know? What do these people know? What is it about Epstein? Is it about the freaking Clintons? Because I guarantee you it is. For the love of God. Just, there ain't, there's something not right about that woman. She still holds a grudge that Trump got the presidency. I guarantee you that's what it is. It's not even anything, like, related to Benghazi. It's just, you know what? I freaking hate the Trump. You know what? Go, go kill these people. Go kill these people. I'm pissed. When you have a bottomless purse going to hell, I guess you can do whatever the heck you want. Tails back, everybody. And there it goes. But anyways, let's go and get into the good news of today. Where the good news is that Nicki Minaj has a child on the way. 
That's lame. Okay, let's go ahead and go on to something else. A man at a train depot ended up stopping a bike theft. The man at the train depot ended up seeing a guy with bolt cutters and pretty much knew exactly what was going to be happening. So he watched the guy and the guy went up to a bike and sure enough, went ahead and broke the chain. He stepped in to go ahead and stop this bike theft because he himself knows that in that area, bikes are very, very important for getting to point A to point B. Most people don't have had cars. So he went ahead and stopped the theft, went ahead and put the bike into a safe place. And then out of the kindness of his heart, stayed four hours after his shift just to make sure the guy actually got his bike back. Great Samaritan, great wholesome story, much better than Nicki Minaj getting pregnant. But with that, we have to get into the dad joke of the day. Where, remember, a dad joke is just... A simple question. A simple question. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus laugh? Don't do it. Ten tickles. Aw, uh, he did it. I know most of you were thinking eight, but ten tickles. Because tentacles. Yeah, thanks for that, Einstein. But alas, with that out of the way, we have to get on to that pet photo of the day, everybody, where we have a dwarf mouse, of all things. And it has the possibility of one of two names. I don't know which one this one is, but it's either named Stuart, after Stuart Little. Absolutely great movie. Love that movie so much, I need to revisit it. Or Mr. Jangles. Which, if you know Mr. Jangles, then you know another great movie, The Green Mile. But last, with that out of the way, I'm pretty sure we're setting a land speed record for the fastest episode so far. We're going to the two cents moment of the day. Now is the part of the show where Kyle gives his two cents. To those of you who turned out for this last Saturday's video of my fat journey, or my big fat journey, you might have heard me say that I do not wish to be an inspiration. And the truth be told is that's just kind of part of my personality type. I view myself as inadequate in pretty much every way. I view myself as I am never good enough at what I do. But at the same time, I don't feel like I'm a complete failure. And it's been a constant mental battle with myself. But it's the same reason I do not wish to be viewed as an inspiration. Because I focus on all the wrongs that I've done, and I can only focus on that. And I wish that no one else was to do the failures that I've done. Why be inspired by a failure? But, at the same time, my eyes were kind of awoken to the idea that you can be inspired for the good that you're doing. So with that, I guess it's alright if I be an inspiration. Sure, I might just be losing weight, but at the end of the day, I still view myself as bad because I let myself get to this point. And that I'm a failure that I got. To. So if you wish to view me as an inspiration as I try and go on to this journey of improving my health, feel free. But be sure you're doing it for yourself, not for me. And that's just... The one thing is like I've always viewed myself as being inadequate in pretty much every expanse of my life, like every angle. I've always been inadequate. I haven't been able to do everything good enough. I demand perfection. And I'm not perfect. Nobody is perfect. No human is ever perfect. That is why I never really rate anything a 10 out of 10 except for good boys and girls pets. But I was told that um, I had inspired two people actually so far. One to start running again after two years, and then another person to start watching what they're doing again. But it's cool to see people try and focus on their health with me. And I'd rather not be an inspiration as I would more so be someone who works with people to try and encourage working together so that way we can all become better. Um, which maybe, I guess, that could be an inspiration. I don't know. I just don't like that because then it feels like there's pressure on you to do better because then as soon as you fail, then these people feel like you let them down and there's just some pressure with that. So that's that's kind of why I was saying that Saturday is because I feel like I'm going to fail at this. I'm not going to do as good as I can do. Um, that something will happen again where I have to drop off for a bit. And then I won't come back again for another year and a half. So it's just, it's just kind of a lot of pressure that I didn't really want. But here it is. So yay. <laughs>
It's not a bad thing. It's just how my mind works. I'm a very, very complex person. <laughs> but you know what is not complex? The end of this episode where I have to bid you all adieu. Where tomorrow, I think we're probably going to have a weird Wednesday. It'll depend what's in the news. Maybe we'll have some weird facts coming back. But that is going to do it for this terrific Tuesday's episode. May you all have good days and a good morning. <laughs>